There is a must complete SBC available. This is my weekly SBC roundup. I'm going to be showing you which ones to complete, which ones to steer clear from. Let's try and hit 100 likes. Comment down below if you've done any of these and subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. If you want the cheapest FC24 coins to get ahead of the competition, check out MMO EXP by clicking the link down below and use code JAMBU for 5% off. Okay, there's still so many of these shocking SBCs out, so we're not going to waste too much time on them. I'm also pretty ill, so if you notice a difference in my voice, or if I'm, you know, just not myself, that is the reason. But we're going to try and get through it. We've got Angelina here. Uh, not going to waste time on it. We've covered her in a few weeks now. Um, it's just very meh and average. Same with Leroy Fur. Uh, same with this one, Van der Sanden. Honestly, these foundations ones, I don't know whether you guys see it differently, but they're just so dry. Like, they, they do not get me excited to load up this game at all. And I personally, I think they're a complete waste of time. That's just my opinion. Some of you guys might hate me for that. I don't know. I just think they're awful. Um, so here, of course, we do have Ali Krieger. And this is a good centre-back. The issue is obviously five foot six. And for female defenders, specifically centre-backs and goalkeepers, that is going to be an issue you find. Because they can the card can be as good as it wants, but if the player's 5 foot 6, um, it's just not ideal at all. But this is a really good card, and I think if you were using a 5 at the back, having this card as one of the centre-backs in a 5-back, you'd get a lot of success out of that. It's going to be very very quick especially with that agility balance defending is elite good physicals um you do also to be fair have the aerial plus play style uh, which means she's going to win you know she's going to be a lot better in the air than what her height suggests so i think for the value it's actually pretty decent we then have the most disliked card officially in fifa history it is megan rapino the card, I can't lie, is very good. Five-star weak foot, four-star skills, super cheap as well. I think it's coming in at like 40k, and I understand that a lot of people are not going to want to use this card for a variety of reasons, which we won't get into on the video, but if you know, you know. The card itself is very good. Like, if you if you don't care about the uh, the person that the card is based on, then... You know, this is an excellent, excellent option. Either in any attacking position or as like a centre mid in a 4-3-2-1 as one of the outside centre mids. This card's honestly top tier. Top, top tier. It's much better than like a Kevin De Bruyne or anything like that. Very, very, very good value card. We then have Latoro Martinez. Four-star, four-star. Clinical, good on the ball. Uh, physicals are really nice. It's a decent card for sure. A bit disappointing that he doesn't have any of the shooting play styles, but he does have technical, flair, and Traveller coming in at a reasonable price as well. We then have Vangelis Pavlidis. Nobody cares. Four star, four star. Not quick enough. Going to be a little bit clunky with that agility. It's not a terrible card, but also you've got to fit it in a Dutch league team. It's just not ideal at all. We're going to have Jude Bellingham. I've spoke about this SBC previously. Stay well away. Uh, just go and get his gold cards. The difference is going to be minimal. Four star, four star, you know. The card's great, but it's just such a rip-off compared to just his gold. And it's just not worth it. Uh, we'll leave out the dynamic duos. They're not too exciting. Uh, we've got this keeper. Nothing to get excited about there. We've got Alvaro Negredo. I can't remember which FIFA it was. But there was one where he was actually really good. I'm talking a long, long time ago. Perhaps like 10 years ago. He was actually a really beastly striker. Four-star skills, three-star weak foot. He's going to be a joke in the air. Physically insane. Quite clinical, but the card isn't good. It's too slow. He's too clunky. And he doesn't have like the best play styles either. I don't know what you guys think. I'd like to hear your opinion, but like... At least for me, like, what is the point in this SBC? It's just, you could go and get a more, better striker for, like, 10k on the market. I just don't understand it. We then have Thiago Silva. 
a genuine top tier SBC in my opinion. Bit of a weird acceleration and speed split, but the card is very good. Elite defending, good physically, great passing, he's solid on the ball. Does have gold anticipate, he has block, aerial and acrobatic, along with power header. This is going to be a top tier centre back and it's definitely one worth having a look at. We then have Aspas, very decent card, um, four star weak foot. He's got that all-important gold finesse plus play style. And that mixed with 93 finishing. Absolute wand of a left foot. Um, good value, you know, if you're in need of a striker. Just either stick him up front or somewhere on the right-hand side. Uh, maybe as like the right forward in a 4-3-2-1. And you're just going to be able to whip those finesse shots in with ease. We then have Anthony Gordon. I don't really understand these pundit picks, like whether they upgrade, like someone will have to let me know, but uh, the card as it is right now is very average at best. We then have Erin Cuthbert. Card looks okay, uh, nothing spectacular, three star weak foot, four star skills. Will be very decent to be fair in um, a centre midfield position. Uh, not the worst SBC and coming in at pretty decent value. A lot of play styles as well. Uh, eight, which is, I believe, the most you can get right now. So pinged pass, long ball, whipped, anticipate, press proven. This will be a very, very decent card, to be fair. We're going to have Trejo. Decent as a centre mid, but nothing to get too excited about. The card is pretty solid all round. You know, if you are in need of a... Uh, Sort of midfielder from the Spanish League. Not a bad option. We're going to have this card. Not great. Uh, four star weak foot. It's just okay all round. He's going to feel clunky in game though. Uh, we have Giroud. I saw people getting excited over this. Maybe I'm just really boring. This card to me it is nothing special. Four, four star, four star. Obviously he's going to be great in the air and stuff. But he's going to be clunky in game. The card is decent. I'm not saying it's bad. But... The way I saw some people talking about it was like it was a top tier SBC, and it, it just isn't. Uh, we have Barella, very, very good all round midfielder. Shame about the three star, three star, um, but he is going to be pretty decent. He's got 99 stamina and the Relentless Plus, which is just overkill. Like, they should have just given him the 99 stamina and then put the gold on something else, but it is what it is. Uh, we then have this, which is the title and thumbnail card. A genuine top, top, top tier fullback, in my opinion. The height isn't a big deal, because it is as a fullback. Four-star weak foot. You're going to need a shadow here to get that pace up. But I'm thinking of this. An overlapping fullback in a 4-3-2-1. With that good finishing. Good passing. Good on the ball. Top tier defending. Insane physicals as well. This is a really, really good card. Power header, whipped pass, slide tackle, anticipate, jockey, rapid and relentless. Such a good card in my opinion. Um, to complete it, you just need an 85 um, with an England player. I think this is its really decent. Really, really decent value. Um, sorry, it's an 85 or higher player you need and an 83 squad it's even better than i thought it's that's such good value i think that's a must complete card um you've got options to link it in as well such as a player that we will look at in a minute uh triple threat forlan forlan's always decent uh it was good last year as well four star four star very clinical striker uh we have mo salah obviously this is a top tier card but coming in very expensive if you do like salah I would say it's potentially worth it. Um, I, I'd personally just go and pick up his gold card. I think these Player of the Month Premier League SBCs are always so inflated. Uh, we have Ledley King, which is the perfect, perfect uh, chemistry link in for Neville. Um, really nice card. Four-star weak foot, good pace. Elite defending, good physically. Um, does have jockey, block, gold anticipate, and bruiser as well. I'm telling you, this will be a... Very, very good centre-back. Uh, we then have Sabitza. Very decent card. Uh, just an all-rounder, really. 80 pace. You know, good shooting, passing, dribbling. Solid defending and solid physicals as well. He really could have done with having Relentless with that stamina. But I think the card overall is very solid. 
uh, and we then have Batcher, and this is a this is a really 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 decent card. I've seen debates about whether to go like this card, uh, Teo Hernandez or Mendy. I think this could arguably be the best, but the price is inflated. You've got Mendy and Theo who are a lot cheaper than this, uh, but the card is insane. You're probably going to want either a Shadow or an Anchor, and this is a a genuine top tier fullback. Again, the height doesn't matter too much because it's a fullback. Um, but elite passing, great on the ball, especially with that agility. Uh, she'll feel really fast in game. Good defending, solid physicals. And you do have dead ball. The gold whipped plus, which is actually insane once you get to learn the angles. Anticipate, block, technical, quick step, relentless. This is a really, really good card and one that I would recommend you guys go and try out but let me know if you agree uh with my thoughts maybe you disagree you might think i'm an idiot feel free to let me know in the most respectful way uh but thank you for watching guys uh sorry about slower uploads last couple of days like i say i'm very ill as you might have been able to tell in this video but i wanted to get this out for you guys we're going to have the mbappe sbc soon which will be very interesting god only knows how much he's going to cost that'll be uh That'll be an interesting talking point, but I will catch you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching and peace.